At this Saturday's 2024 SAG Awards event, Billie Eilish and Melissa McCarthy had a celebrity encounter that went spectacularly wrong. Following Melissa's exclamation of her admiration for Billie, the 22-year-old singer-songwriter inked her signature all over the 53-year-old actress's forehead. The surprising incident made viewers at home who were watching the event on Netflix giggle, and it also prompted jokes on social media about Melissa's portrayal of a Billie Eilish superfan. She went on to say that throughout Billie's pregnancy with the future hitmaker, she had worked as an improv coach for her mother, Maggie Baird, an actress, teacher, and musician. The Screen Actors Guild is hosting its 30th annual celebration at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles to recognize the top actors in cinema and television following a strenuous 118-day strike. Melissa was obviously thrilled to be performing alongside Billy, but when the singer commented that it was good to meet her, the bridesmaids actress corrected her, pointing out that they had actually met before Melissa was even born. It's okay, it doesn't matter that we've actually met before she said. Why, after all, would you recall that? You ought not to recall. Actually, we've met three times, having met twice. She joked. You've met one of my dogs and my daughters. Melissa said. Fun fact, since you're asking, your mom was my first improv teacher, so that's how I first met you in utero. And you can guess with whom she was expecting? You were the one. Whoa, that's a lot. Billy deadpanned in response. Melissa persisted in her fangirling, pleading with the artist to autograph her outfit. Billy said, No, I don't want to ruin it. But the actress interpreted it positively. I'm glad you like the choices I made, Melissa remarked. Rather, she asked Billy to sign her face, and she responded with enthusiasm. All right, I see, Melissa said. I assumed you were going to be like, I don't want to destroy your gorgeous face. I don't care. Billy muttered as she reached over Melissa's forehead to sign her autograph and, in a funny move, covered her mouth to prevent her from speaking. Social media users found the display to be so funny. Melissa is the fan of Billy, a person said. Some people made an amusing comparison between the display and the time that Jennifer Aniston's character Rachel had goatee and mustache scribbled on her face in Friends. One viewer was certain that Melissa and Billy needed to collaborate on a buddy comedy. Others were taken aback by Melissa's account of meeting Billy while still a baby. One fan remarked, Damn, who knew the Melissa McCarthy Billy Eilish lore? Another fan said, Billy Eilish and Melissa McCarthy are the unlikely duo I didn't know I needed. One commenter exclaimed, the funniest thing I've seen in five decades of award show fandom is Billie Eilish signing Melissa McCarthy's face. Melissa looked stunning in a shimmering silver dress with voluminous ruffled sleeves when she walked the red carpet. Wearing a sheer beige sweater vest with red stripes over a white button-up shirt, black necktie, black slacks, and matching boots, Billie looked laid back. She was joined on the red carpet by Barbie star Margot Robbie who looked stunning in a black mini-dress with a long pink train knotted around her waist, and her brother, fellow songwriter Phineas, who was dressed in a traditional black tuxedo. sag after members choose the winners of the show tonight by casting ballots in a variety of categories. Barbie and Oppenheimer lead the film nominations with four nods apiece, and Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani revealed the nominees earlier this year on Instagram Live. Among the nominations for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Leading Role are Emma Stone from Poor Things and Barbie star Margot Robbie. Bradley Cooper from Maestro and Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer are both in the running for Best Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. One of the nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Supporting Role is Ryan Gosling, who portrayed Ken in Barbie. For the title, he will go up against Robert Downey Jr., Willem Dafoe, Robert De Niro, and Sterling K. Brown. With five nominations overall, the popular HBO Max drama series Succession received the most nominations in the television category. The same prize is being contested by three of their stars. Among the candidates for best performance by a male actor in a drama series are Brian Cox, Kieran Culkin, and Matthew McFadden. 
Additionally, Sarah Snook is nominated for Outstanding Performance in a Dramatic Series by a Female Actor. Succession will face off against The Crown, The Gilded Age, The Last of Us, and The Morning Show for the title of Greatest Ensemble in a Drama Series. Four nominations were also garnered by the comedy series The Bear and Ted Lasso. The Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture Award is open to all three series. For the first time, Netflix will broadcast the ceremony live. Netflix aired the awards from the previous year on their YouTube channel. The awards were given out two months after SAG AFTRA and the film studios reached an agreement. During the strike, which lasted for many months, the main concerns were artificial intelligence and wages in the age of streaming. The strike started on July 25, 2023, and on November 8 a provisional agreement was reached. On December 5, 2023, everything came to an official end when 78% of union members cast yes votes. The decision was a big relief for union officials and the entertainment business after a grueling few months of strikes, despite differences over the final accord. The WGA strike, which took place from May 2 to September 27, fell during the same time as the boycott.